Hi everyone, in this video we'll be looking at removing metal debris from your pull pieces. Usually the debris will be extra fine steel wool dust. Sometimes it's just metal shavings. Whatever it is, we'll show how to take care of it here. We're going to use a fresh brand new strip of painter's tape. The initial impulse is to just jam right down on it and try and push down straight from above, but that's wrong. You want to make a sort of a pinching motion here. Um, you're grabbing from the side of the uh, steel wool debris, sticking to it, and then convincing it to leave with you nicely. These metal shards can work their way down between the pull pieces and the windings and short out or break a winding in the pickup, rendering it ineffective. So the reason we're going at the side here is we want to get a hold of the steel wool or other metal shaving that's stiff but probably also a bit brittle. We want to stick to the part of it that's above and any part that has happened to work its way down in there already. We want to coax that and carefully pull up, have that come up out of there along with the other piece of it instead of just breaking off and staying down in there. This particular dust has been on these pickups for at least 15 years that I've known about. I just now had the opportunity to get a hold of them and clean them up. This pickup still works great, but that doesn't mean your pickup couldn't be ruined by metal shavings working their way in there. It's a little harder to find extra fine steel wool these days. I think it might be cheaper to buy the uh, plastic scotch bright or whatever, so you don't see this problem quite as often as you used to, but steel wool, especially the extra fine steel wool, is a great choice for polishing frets, so if you do happen to use it, what you want to do is make absolutely sure that you tape the entire area of the pickup first, and if you have a hollow body guitar, tape off those F-holes too. Then once you're done, most important part of all, once you're done, tape over it again to trap the metal shavings on the outside of that tape. If you just tape the first time and yank the tape off, well, you've just wasted your time because those metal shavings are going to go right to the magnets. pretty good on the bridge pickup. Obviously the pickup's still 70 years old, but we got the steel wool out of it anyway. Now let's get that neck pickup cleaned up. This thing looks furry. even on the side of the pickups here. We're going to have to convince our metal shavings to stop hanging out with its best friend magnet. Once it gets a whiff of that fresh sticky tape, it's going to be out of there. quite a few shavings off the side of the pickup there, so I want to fold the tape over, make sure I don't introduce any new shavings to the top of the pickup. And again, we'll start working from the side. I'm getting quite a bit there. There's a lot more of it on the neck pickup than there was at the bridge.
there we go looking excellent way less furry thanks for watching hope you have a great day